Hello Commanders, Commander Placer here back with another Elite Dangerous video. And today we got a sneak peek at the upcoming Odyssey update in the form of a trailer tied to the Dev Diary titled One Giant Leap, showing off some of the new planetary tech and some of the gameplay activities we can expect in Odyssey. Bear in mind everything that is shown here is pre-alpha and that things can and will likely change before launch. But so far everything looks really good to me. So let's get into the breakdown. The scenes shown in the trailer feature a few different planetary types we're going to be able to set foot on. For the first time we get some true scale of the planets we'll be putting our feet on after landing. The emphasis really seems to be taking things up a level with the atmosphere of the game, with attention to detail, including hearing your own breath within your helmet whilst on planets, with the hope to recreate the feeling and emotion of being the first person to step onto a planet, referencing Neil Armstrong's first lunar walk, hence the name One Giant Leap. Exploration will be wrapped up with planets with light atmospheres now being landable based on the wording used. This could imply that this will be an addition to Barren Worlds, not just a reskin of existing planets. This will obviously increase the number of planets we're able to land on by a huge amount. Dr. K. Ross tells us that planets and atmospheres will be data driven using existing data that is held at Frontier. Ice and Rocky Worlds are getting a huge graphic overhaul, and we got a good, albeit short, look at these. Different planets will be getting different geological features based on their type. For example, ice planets will have Linnae, Palimpsests and Cryovolcanism. The graphics overhaul will give more detail at distances as well as close up, as our commander's faces have never been so close to the ground before. The colour palettes for the skies do look incredible and look so good to the point you have to remind yourself this is pre-alpha and might not look the same when the update goes live. We will be getting more vegetation with what appears to be a slightly smaller scale. The floor has been designed in a way to seem familiar, whilst alien, at the same time with convergent evolution being referenced. That's the process where unrelated species will share traits to survive within a similar environment. For example, sugar gliders and flying squirrels on Earth. We're going to be able to sample the plant life using what is called the sampling tool, to log the DNA of the plant and add this to the codex and later on trade data in for rewards at space stations. Yep, that's right, Xenobotany just became a thing in Elite Dangerous. We also got treated to a little bit of atmospheric flight with a couple of Cobras around the planet Wolf 131B3B. On screen now you can see what it looks like in game, and to compare the two is night and day. Close to literally. With blue skies and what looks like crisp ice on the surface of the planet in the trailer, to the very typical, unlandable, rocky planet in-game, which really does help reinforce the fact that the number of planets we'll be able to land on is going to be going up massively. There you go commanders, did I miss anything from the trailer? And what are you looking forward to most in Odyssey? Leave me a comment and let me know. So thank you for watching commanders, please make sure that you like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you get an alert every time I put a new video out. Also, whilst you're there, if you are looking to support the channel, please check out the links in the video description as there are a couple of different ways to do so. Well, once again, thank you for watching. Commander Plater, out.